We are learning tonight of a huge bust of vendors who are selling counterfeit and illegal items in lower Manhattan. Yes, the knockoffs are cheaper in price and quality, but the goods are not legal. This bust near Chinatown involved products that would cost the public tens of millions of dollars on the open market in the legal market. So how to keep this from happening? Josh Eidegger tonight takes us to a kind of counterfeit alley. This stretch of souvenir shops on the edge of Chinatown is a mecca for tourists looking to buy a slice of New York. This is an area here where uh, the sellers are it's very condensed. You have two or three dozen sellers blocking the entrances to numerous uh, you know, restaurants, uh, places of business. But tonight, police announced the results of a massive counterfeit goods bust. Hundreds of knockoff luxury items being sold on the sidewalk illegally. Cops made 18 arrests and confiscated enough goods to fill three flatbed trucks. We're receiving a tremendous amount of complaints about counterfeit goods from the uh, community and from the business owners. So as you can see, uh, there is a tremendous amount, like I said, and we're, we're here seizing that and, uh, and taking it off the streets. Police came, I'm happy because this, the street looks nice. This store manager was afraid to show his face out of fear of retribution from the illegal vendors who set up shop outside. And he says routinely harass his customers when they decline to buy one of their fake bags. Tonight, he says he's glad they're gone, at least for now. Based on the value of the real items these knockoffs were trying to imitate, cops assessed the value of this bust at $35 million. The 18 people were arrested on misdemeanor charges. Cops say they will continue patrolling the stretch of Canal Street to make sure they don't try to come back.